is looking adorable in her new outfit in the bouncy chair. And I thought I would, well, I just like moved a whole bunch of stuff around, so there's like an echo in here now. That's what happens when you clean your room. Um, <laughs> anyway, so speaking of cleaning my room, I thought I'd do a like nursery slash reborn studio room tour thing because I only have one room for all of my stuff. So anyway, so here's Rylan in the bouncy chair and this is the little area by the windows. Whoa, that is very bright. Where like every all the videos, most of the videos take place. And then over here is my desk where well, I'm not going to say where all the reborning happens, because I've only reborn one doll over there, Miss Ryland. So, this is the desk where that would happen. And then this is like a makeshift reborn stand I made when the for when the parts are drying. So this top part comes off, and there's like these sticks where the parts sit. And then I have some pictures of real babies back here for reference. And we're going to go around my room. I'm only really going to go into stuff that has to do with Reborns. So this is my closet. And I don't know how the lighting's going to be in here. Probably not good. Here, let's turn this thingy on. Whoa! Everything looks blue. Um, so I keep the baby carrier here. The boppy nursing pillow is right here. Everything's very compact. So... In here I have some modeling sponges, a paint tray, and my Reborn Effects paints. And my paint brushes, some stockings, and a measuring cup for waiting. Um, I have some pre-mixed paints in here from when I painted Rowan. And up here I sort of have my some of my rooting stuff. The needles aren't in there. The needles are actually in here. But I have my rice sock and some leftover mohair. And in here is just a bunch of odds and ends for reborning. And what else? I have some polyfill here and some glue that I um, sealed her hair with. Um, some extra rice from the rice sock. And um, this is... I'm not going to pull it out, it's like a makeshift, um, rooting, it like supports the baby's head while, the doll's head while you're rooting it. And over here is Ryland's clothes, clothes, all oh, in here. The tripod is down there. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here that doesn't have to do with reborning too, and... Here's a little book. Oh, logo's upside down. There's our logo! And I just used this to like, whoa! To like test out painting, like test the paint colors to make sure it's not too dark. And here is a book where I keep a bunch of like the receipts for when I ordered Rylan. I'm not going to show that. Um, where's her birth certificate? Here it is. So, I have her COA in here. Rylan's COA. And, uh... Here's her birth certificate I made her. So some pictures I like of her. And then all the information. So I like that. That's cute. I think I'll stick with that design. Um, I'll put that away later. It can just sit over there. Oof. Okay. Uh, next. Open the closet here and up here. We just have some stuff to do with reborning. Not reborning. With the reborn. With my reborn. Some bottles. Her hairbrush. Some baby powder. And this is her belly plate wrapped up in here. Uh, excuse the blankets on the floor. Those are waiting to be washed. And this is 
So we have um, socks, scratch mittens, hair bows for passies, some pants, uh, skirts, hats, and diapers. Oh, here's the fish. Cuties. That's like the trickling sound you hear in the background of every video. I guess I could um, turn it off during... <laughs> Hello, Callie. I guess I could take them, turn the filter off during videos, but it's not good for them. So the black one is Callie, and the orange one is Boo. And <laughs> they're so cute. Uh, they are telescope-eyed goldfish. Yes, even though Callie is black, she is still technically a goldfish. What else? Oh, I'm going to show you Stella. Stella is my pet frog. And she is, like, the mascot of Froglands Reborn. So there she is. You can barely see her. The glass is kind of dirty over here. There she is, Miss Stella. That is the frog that you see in the beginning and end of every video. Frog on the logo. She's adorable. Do something. Show them how cute you are. She'll do this crazy thing at night where she'll jump up where the lamps are and just like, you guys, you guys probably just got blinded, sorry. But she'll jump up on this mess, mesh part here and like just hang there and it makes this weird sound. I'll be sleeping and I'll hear is and it'll be her like jumping up here and then falling and hitting the ground. I don't know why she does that, it's weird. But that's basically everything. It's not much. It's a decent sized room, but like when you get everything in here, it's like, it starts to get really small. So, I kind of want to get like a bassinet or a pack and play. Pack and play would be better because it'd be bigger, and then you could pack it away. And I'd probably like move this feeder tank, like I use this tank to feed Stella the frog in, and I'd probably like put it here. And um, the babies could be displayed there because there will be more babies in the future. And that's just where I'd keep it unless I needed the extra space. And then I'd pack it down and find a different place for the babies. But we'll end this with Rylan. There she is, a little sweetie. And so we're going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this room tour. Please like and subscribe. And go check out our Facebook, Froglings Reborns. Fro <laughs> no, that's the channel. Go check out our Facebook, which is Froglings Reborn Dolls. No spaces on Facebook. And if you subscribe to me and leave a nice comment, a friendly comment, down below, I will subscribe back to you. So it's sort of like a subscription giveaway. There she is, little girl. Alright, bye. Thank you for watching.